Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at rounding, the rounding functions in Excel, and just the basics about it. And we're going to look at round, round up, round down, and then we're going to take a quick look at M round. So that's kind of an interesting one there. But so the rounding functions in Excel will take a number and round it up or down based on the rules that you specify. So if we take a look at the various rounding functions, you can see this round, round down, and round up. Round sends it rounds a number to a specified number of digits. Round down says a uh, number down towards zero, and round up rounds a number up away from zero. And if we selected, say for example, round, it's going to just add, any of them will just ask for two factors. What is the number and what are your number of digits? The number of digits uh, is uh, what I've highlighted here. And uh, so, for example, in that second uh, part of the function, if you put a 2, it would round it to the penny. A 1 would round it to the dime. A 0, a whole number. A minus 1 to the tens. Minus two hundreds, minus three thousands, and actually it keeps on going. A minus four would be ten thousands, a minus five hundred thousands, a minus six millions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I just put the the basic six that most people would use. So let's take a look at see how this number here, five million one seventy five eight ninety three point five seven six zero, is managed by the various rounding functions here. So if we if uh, we rounded it to the penny, so for example, in this function, I'm showing the formulas down here, we have the factor of a 2, so it's going to round 576 to the penny 58. If we put a number 1 in there, which will round it to the dime area or 0.1, uh, decimal place, it's going to change that to a 0.60. To the whole number, it will round it to 0.894, and again, and on and on, to the tens, to the hundreds, and to the thousands. So this is how the round function will affect or address this number. Round up, for the most part, in this case, because of the number, works exactly as round does just because of the way the numbers are there. Round down you'll see the 58 cents goes down to 57 cents. The 0 .60 is actually works out to 0 .50. 894 goes to 893 etc. So depending on which one you prefer and how you want it to round up or down away from your uh, integer or your number you will indicate that by either using round, round up, or round down and these factors or many more minus five minus six minus seven etc to round it to the decimal place or to the integer that you want and that's rounding uh, the other one that I want to take a quick look at that at is m round now m round returns a number rounded to the desired multiple so this isn't necessarily just a base 10 rounding this might be very useful if you have packaging quantities again and you want to round things to a certain packaging quantity so here I'm taking the example of rounding to a multiple of 48 so I took a similar number to what we had above which was um, 517 uh, 5175880 and here I rounded it to a multiple of 48 and you notice that it raised it up eight points to get it to an even number of a uh, multiple of 48. Here, when it was two uh, numbers over that multiple of 48, taking that number actually rounded it down. So M round on 5175890 with a multiple of 48, rounded it down to 5175888. So again, it's going to use similar rounding factors. If it's right at the halfway point, it'll round it up. Less than that, it will round it down um, to that multiple and whatever that multiple uh, that you have indicated as the second factor of your function. And that's rounding. It's round, round up, round down, and M round. Hope you liked it. Hope you find it useful. If you'd like to see more, please go to my blog, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.